Today's search the whole internet and fished out the best websites for music producers. These websites will help you create better music more easily, improve your understanding of music, help you create professional content around your artist brand, and some of them are just so unique and mind-blowing that I don't even know how to describe them. I came across many websites but selected the absolute best ones to not give you mediocre options but only the ones that are unique and have practical usages. You can expect each website to give you something that will help you as a music producer. Website number one, we have songs with the same chord and this website allows you to pick a certain chord. Let's say we're going to pick a G minor and then it shows you the most popular choices to go from a chord G minor. So as you can see amongst all of these chords, the F major is the most popular one. E flat major is also pretty popular and this whole thing is based on a library of songs that this website has collected of the midis of them. So once you have a chord, let's say you're making a song and you have a chord, you can go into a certain next most popular chord. So in this case, F major. And then from that F major, you can go into the next most popular chord that goes after the F major and G minor. So next one is going to be E flat major, as you can see here, boom. The next most popular choice after going G minor, F major, E flat major is the F major. Again, after you have a four chord progression, let's say that's what you're looking for. You can see these songs that are popping up here. Oh, look, there's Skrillex even. You can hit on them and it shows you this big piano roll and it allows you to preview certain chords and you can hear one after another how they transition. And you can take this chord progression, you can apply it in your own song. You can also play this back along with a certain song. And that's really cool because you can hear how this particular chord progression is being applied in an actual song. You can even go further into G minor in this case. There's 13 songs that you can preview. Very nice. Website number two is Every Noise at Once. And this is a website that shows you so many different genres. It just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. It's like a collection of so many different genres, like a huge web of them. And what you can do here is you can hit on any genre that you find. Let's say Jain Bajan. And you can simply get inspired by these genres. You can learn about new genres. You can learn about new styles. You can learn about new worlds that these styles create. You can start creating genre meshes or start creating a genre that you would never think exists, like no melodisi. This website is great too if you're stuck. You want to maybe start creating something outside the box. What is barbershop? Boxing in the dark. Website number three, Chord Chord. This website allows you to generate chord progressions using AI technology. We're gonna create something ourselves, so you can just hit plus icon here. Once you hit the edit chord, this is where the magic happens because it shows you all the chord suggestions and it allows you to change the voicings in a really nice and easy way. So you can create chord progressions without knowing any music theory purely by using your ears. As you can see, all of these AI suggestions are working perfectly for this scale that this is all in. And there are suggestions that are less popular, that are less likely to work. So let's start with F major 7. And let's add another chord. The AI is going to suggest us what we could put as next. Let's put E minor 7th and then another chord. That sounds nice. And another chord. Oh, I love the workflow of this. It's so good because it just shows you the chords and you're just not thinking about what notes to put and what the next chord could be. You're just simply picking them from this list. But if you want to edit a certain chord, it allows you to go into diminished chords. Ah, sustained chords. That sounds nice, but if you want to change the voicing, you can go right here and hit new voicing. And then NAI is going to suggest a new random voicing for this chord. 
generate another one, generate another one, and see which one works the best for this particular transition. And once you're done with this, you can save this and you can hit export share, put it to MIDI. And unfortunately, you have to go sign up. Website number four, Sound Gym. This is something that you may already know. This is a website that allows you to train your ears to become better at music production, sound design, mixing. It shows you a few of the different exercises every single day called daily workout. And you can do those exercises and improve uh, different aspects of hearing in music production. One of the exercises is hearing the difference in volume before and after the game this one's six this one's half this one's a scam this one's two another exercise is hearing what frequency has been boosted so this is before and after it's somewhere here Somewhere annoying right there. Again. Uh, somewhere here. And another exercise is to hear where the sound is being positioned in a stereo field. This one's in the middle. This one's like here. This one's also in the middle. This one's like here. As you put more time every single day, you will get better at hearing differences in audio. That is going to help you in sound design, in mixing, in mastering, in music production, because music production is a lot about sound designing, creating certain themes that requires you to know what to boost, what to cut, how to set different things in the stereo field so that everything is playing as if it's a certain movie scene. There's more exercises if you go with the pro features. Number five, Kids AI. This website allows you to turn your own vocals into another person's vocals and you can either upload a file or you can record using the microphone and then select an artist and then your voice will be turned into someone else's voice so if you can't sing or if you don't like your own voice or if you are looking for the opposite sex's voice then this is going to be something that you might want to use because it sounds pretty good what would i do without your smart mouth drawing me in and you kicking me out Got my head spinning, no kidding, I can't pin you down. What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. Got my head spinning, no kidding, I can't pin you down. Number six, Dolly 3. OpenAI recently has published a new update to ChatGPT, allowing users to produce images. What I want to show you that blew my mind for a week straight every single day is the Dolly 3 integration. This is one of the artworks I generated with Dolly 3 for mouse there song as you can see the text is all good but man the whole artwork is something like a professional would do it's so good and i'm gonna show you a few of the images that i generated with dali this one is another one this is a really nice one. Oh, this one i made one for the upcoming pack as well something like this or this or this the artistic styles are just so bananas and the one that really blew my mind was this one like how can ai art actually produce something like this come on this can be helpful to you for producing artworks for songs okay so look this is the creation of the mouse i made this template you can copy if you want to and then once you have a certain artwork there's another website runway ml image to video generator so another thing that music producers need is a professional canvas that looks nicely on spotify that presents the song in a nice way you put an image here and let it do the work what we got is this boom some of the things that I generated that were really cool out of this picture it has generated this I had a little bit of a color correction and a little bit of as you can see the noise movement but that's very nice that was like oh hell yes website number eight is amused and I am amused when I saw that this website was free to post your songs on streaming platforms yeah baby 
that's what this is all about. This website allows you to post songs to streaming platforms and it has a free plan. So if you're like a starting producer, this may be a good choice because it allows you to have one release per month for free, for nothing. It takes one month to do so, but if you don't need to release ASAP and you're on a budget, this may be a good choice. And then if you want to, you can start paying more. I would say the pricing when it comes to this website in comparison to other ones is not that bad actually. I think it's cheaper than DistroKid and it allows for all the same things that other ones do. So you can start with the start plan and then you can go into other plans as you get more resources or as you need to. This gives you 100% of royalties. There's no split. It allows you to do royalty splits with other people that you're collaborating with. There's a mobile app for this, which is really cool. And the next website is Sound Better and this one allows you to hire professionals for mixing, mastering, singing, playing instruments instruments and more. And the cool thing about it is that it allows you to access a wide range of well-known professionals and it gives you the ability to work with them. As you can see, we have singers, something that music producers usually miss. We have mixing engineers, we have musicians that play instruments. We have mastering engineers. There's many more different categories. You can hire a flutist. You can hire someone who plays the piano, who plays strings, violin, trumpet, but mainly what a lot of producers is missing are high quality and professional vocals. Here you have access to all of these professional singers that have worked with all of those other professionals. Like this person has worked with Martin Garrix, David Guetta, and their mixing engineers. As you can see, you have lots of different mixing engineers that have mixed songs for Odessa here, for example, Britney Spears. You can pick this guy and you can see what his mixes sound like. And if you find something that you like, you can contact and you can maybe get professional mixing services from someone like that. Okay, so next thing that I'm gonna show you is the Music Industry Toolkit. This allows you for an easy access to a lot of different resources for music producers in one place. As you can see, a lot of stuff is here. And if you want to get more specific, you can go into a specific category right there. Let's say I'm looking for, we just talked about it, music distribution. You can see that Amuse is here along of some other music distributors. You can take a look at them, compare them and see which one fits your needs the most. You may look for something that music producers need, rights management, music promotion websites, and so many other different things right here in one spot. If you want to access the links to these tools, I'm going to put up a link to my blog where I feature all these tools. And of course, the website that I didn't mention is oversample.us. You can find sample packs, preset packs, effect racks, all in a premium quality. Something that is really trending right now is Super Heavy 2 Drum Kit and Volcano Scrags inspired sample pack. A lot of people are enjoying the Polychrome sample pack as well. And of course, the iconic sound chest for EDM Legendary Edition as well. And Cyber Pack. Man, this is just a classic. There are free tools. My favorite is an auto hotkey script for Ableton, the one effect rack for Ableton that turns your sounds into super beefy ones, and the Ableton Live theme, which personally I think is the best looking theme for Ableton out there. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you find this useful. Have a great day and see you soon.